Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 324 of quitting alcohol. Sorry for the weird lighting right now. My power went out. It's been out for the last uh, hour and a half or so. Don't, not sure what quite caused it, but being out here in the sticks, um, it kind of happens from time to time. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, once you know how bad alcohol is for you, it's kind of hard to go back. When I was drinking, I never gave much thought to how bad alcohol really was for my body. And um, only after I quit did I really start researching it, you know. And uh, there was an excellent podcast YouTube video done by Andrew Huberman uh, from Huberman Labs. I'll put a link to that uh, video in the description. You guys really should check it out. It gives you a whole nother perspective on um, really how bad alcohol is for you. And one of the things Andrew Huberman says is do what you're going to do, but at least know what you're doing, you know, and uh, that, that was the opposite of when, when I was drinking. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just compelled and compulsively drinking this toxin, this poison and, and slowly killing myself and wrecking my body and wrecking my mind and my spirit. I really didn't even know how bad it was for me, you know, until later on, you know, after some of the damage is done and you start getting, you know, these warning signs and stuff like that. And um, I mentioned I had high blood pressure, gout, um, skin problems, digestive problems. Uh, you know, my heart would be pounding out of my chest. I was getting sleep apnea. Um, I was having almost like many panic attacks. I never really went to the doctor or anything like that. But uh, I would start breathing heavy during the day. I was sweating profusely. My sweat was smelling bad. I mean, uh, just on and on. I was just kind of a nasty, gross existence when I was drinking. And um, every single one of those things has resolved itself since I quit drinking. So what was causing all that? The freaking alcohol, you know, and everything from, like I say, little little skin issues, the way you look, the way you feel, uh, the way you think, um, you know, alcohol breaks through the blood brain barrier and just affects every single part of your body. Uh, and again, I really encourage you guys to watch the video that I'm going to put um, in the description because, um, you know, one of the things that can motivate us to quit drinking alcohol is fear. And uh, I wish that wasn't the case. And maybe that's not the best motivator, let's face it. But, you uh, Sometimes uh, if that's what's going to get you to quit drinking alcohol is knowing and educating yourself and, and creating a little bit of fear of what you're actually doing to yourself when you consume this toxin day after day, um, it, it might give you a, a kind of a wake up call. And um, I, I kind of wish I had educated myself sooner because number one, it's one of the things that, that can make you want to quit drinking alcohol. But it makes you not want to go back to it. I mean, we're all, I think, in this journey uh, of sobriety, um, knowing that uh, we can uh, possibly relapse, you know. But it's like I've said before, the things that you start doing and, and uh, building a life away from alcohol, one of those things is educating yourself, educating yourself on the human body and health and, you know, what alcohol really does. And, um you know, when you do that, it, it's kind of another driving force and motivating factor to stay off the sauce, man, right? Um, so um, that's just what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys get a chance to check out the video um, that I'm going to leave in the description. Um, several other of you viewers have mentioned that video to me um, over the course of uh, me having this channel and mentioned how it had helped you guys too. And I watched it earlier on quite a few months ago and uh, I've kind of revisited it from time to time because it's just a good reminder and you kind of miss things the first time through it. It's kind of a longer video, but uh, definitely worth the watch if, uh, you know, especially if you're concerned about your health and your drinking and you're starting to get those warning signs and, um, you know, and just know that if you stop now, a lot of this stuff is reversible. A lot of this stuff can heal itself. And, um, you know, you can fix it. But then, you know, there's a point of no return too, where you just, uh, you know, get yourself so, you know, scarred up on your liver or cardiomyopathy that gets really bad or alcoholic wet brain. Some of these things are kind of hard to 
turn around once they get to a certain point. So uh, educate yourself. Like I say, you know, do what you're going to do, but know what you're doing. Um, and uh, that makes a big difference. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, please give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.